Hey everybody, welcome back to Jones Edition. I am out camping with my family this weekend. Got the kids, my mom, my wife had to work, and uh, my dad had to stay home. We are going to be hanging out here at Lieber State Park and here in Indiana. I'll give you guys a little bit of a map location where it's at. This video is going to be the start of a series for me where I go to different state parks in Indiana and kind of give my opinion on them, which one's the best, which one's the worst, what, what features it has, and kind of stuff like that. So uh, this will be a pretty cool video. I'm excited to film it. Got the boat, brought my Dodge, and then I was going to have a good time for about a day or so, about a 24-hour trip. And then uh, we got to be heading back tomorrow. So we're going to try to go fishing a little bit, just at least get the boat in the water. I have a new jack plate. Um, that video should have been out already. So we're going to be testing out that on this trip. And uh, they have like a 1,400-acre lake here. Um, Kegel's Mill um, Lake or something like that. It's like 1,400 acres. Then they have a couple waterfalls. We're going to try to hike one of them if it doesn't get too hot. And then um, we're going to go to their swimming pool. Uh, their beach is closed because of high water. So I might try to film that if we get near it on the water. But, so I can't really rate the beach since it's closed. But stay tuned for a uh, little bit of uh, adventures with us. And I hope you guys enjoy the video. All right, so we're out here at the pool. It's actually a really cool pool. They have like a, a beach entrance here for the kids with some like sprinkler style stuff and the, the slide is uh, really, really cool. I've been down several times already. Me and all the kids love it. Uh, the temperature is great. Uh, they have a little concession stand here which the family is getting some ice cream and stuff. And then um, they have a diving board, but the diving board is closed for some reason. And they have like a little park over here, which is probably closed for COVID stuff. But it's actually really nice. Lockers and everything, men and women's restroom. It's $3 a person. Uh, every kid two and under is free. So it's a, it's a really nice hot day out here. So this is actually a really cool um, way to cool down here at the park. So we've had a good time here so far. All right, we're back from swimming. We're back at the camp, getting our fire going here. I kind of cheated tonight. It's a little. It's been really rainy, and uh, everything's been really, really wet. So I used one of the fire starter logs. It's actually struggling as well, but we'll get it going here in a little bit. So it's a little bit of an overview of our campsite. Got the fridge out here, the big tent. Uh, we're all sleeping in the big tent today, and then uh, we're gonna be cooking up some hot dogs and some mac and cheese and uh, have some chips and stuff like that. So we're gonna have the boat ready to go in the morning where uh, we kind of took a peek at the water tonight and to see where the ro the ramps are. And uh, the water level's really high. I'll show you guys on the clip here um, in the morning when we go fishing. So we're just gonna hang out by the fire, eat a little bit, and then uh, just kind of enjoy the night. Uh, the bugs haven't been bad at all. Um, it's really nice. I'll um, show you a little bit of the campsites here um, as we drove in to kind of show you how shaded every campsite is. It's been really, really nice. Um, I mean, the sun was kind of directly above us and it kind of felt really nice out here because of the shade. So, been pretty quiet so far out here. Not a lot of people camping. We got someone across the street. But uh, typically, I don't like camping at places like this because of all the people. But uh, we're here during the week. It's a Tuesday and it hasn't been too bad so far. Uh, lots of RVs kind of toward the entrance, um, but back here I kind of picked a spot kind of further back. And uh, I had a spot picked out a little uh, south of here, but it said that the drive was severe, a severe slope, and I have the trailer with me. So anyways, uh, you guys, we'll see you in the morning, and we'll cook a little breakfast, and then uh, we're going to go fishing, so stay tuned for that. All right, we just got off the water. We had a good time. It's very, very nice out today. It's like, start, started out like 67 degrees, like perfect, nice breeze. I don't know how to fish this lake. I've been here, it was my first time. Um, we, I threw a spinnerbait, a black spinnerbait, no trailer, double bladed. And uh, I had one bass on, probably a keeper, a small keeper, um, kind of on the north side of the lake. And um, 
you know, that's all about all I had. But we don't have a lot of time when uh, we're kind of on the move. We're going to go on a hike next to one of the waterfalls after breakfast. And uh, we're eating a late breakfast. And then we should uh, go check out the waterfalls here soon. And then it's just mainly when I come out here to test out the motor and uh, see how it was going. It did perform better than last time. Last time it was cavitating with the jack plate. It's helping. So that's kind of nice. But uh, it's still pretty slow. It's a you know Johnson 6. It got us across the lake pretty decent. And uh, that's what I, you know, it's all I really... That's all I really need. I will definitely upgrade my outboard in the future, but for now, it's, uh, it's going to work just fine. All right, we're all loaded up, ready to go. It's, uh, I want to say try to leave your campsites cleaner than when you came. I know it's kind of hard with kids sometimes. They like to leave a mess, but uh, got to check it and everything. But uh, we're going to be heading to Cataract Falls, and we're going to try to do the bigger one. I I think it's the upper one that's the bigger one. Um, I'll let you guys know when I get there. I gotta find out how to get there first. And then uh, we'll uh, we'll show you the trail there. And then uh, had a fun time here. Uh, it was nice. It's a little get, it's getting warm now. It was pretty quiet for the most part. A little bit of a rowdy group across the hall here. But um, yeah, so far so good. It's been a good time. Just a quick trip and uh, we'll see you at the falls. All right, we made it to Cataract Falls. Uh, we are at the lower falls right now. Uh, let me flip you around. Falls, right? Me and you, bud. Bailey fell asleep, and my mom is hanging out with Bailey, my daughter. So uh, they got this cool little um, covered bridge here, and then uh, there's the falls over there. We're going to check out this part over here first. And uh, they say that there's a trail that leads all the way up to Upper Falls. I don't know if I'm in the right spot or not. We'll, uh, we'll figure it out. I don't know where I'm at. So, it's kind of cool. It looks like it used to be used, um, but now it's like, like for picnics and stuff like that. Built in 1876. Hey, don't get too close to the edge, bud. You want to fall? What there? Is there a wood over there? Oh, uh, you're right. Come over here, man. Here, hop up here and check this out. Oh man, this is pretty cool. It's uh, bigger than I thought. I mean, that, that that valley down there, you can't really see it on camera. But it goes way down there. We'll get a better view here in a second. All right, so me and Miles, we're gonna hike this trail to the lower falls. So this is the upper falls, which makes sense. And uh, we were gonna hike it. We, uh, I was gonna try to GPS like uh, for uh, pedestrian walking, whatever, on uh, Google, but it wouldn't load. There's not a great signal here to see how far it was. You know, I don't want to leave Bailey and my mom alone if it's gonna take a long time. I definitely want to come back here and hike the whole thing. There's a sign up here at the entrance that talks about like to the lower falls, to the upper falls. So I'm going to let my mom check this out real quick and then we're going to all hop in and try to go to the lower falls and then drive there and see if I can get a picture of that for you guys. This is pretty cool. This is definitely something that if you're in the area, you definitely want to come see. Maybe bring a picnic or whatever. It's uh, a lot of places to kind of ch you know chill in the shade and... Um, it's a DNR ran place. It's like seven dollars uh, per vehicle unless you have like a pass uh, To get in so anyways All right, look who woke up ready to check out the lower falls. It's it's really easy to get to it's like a, a mile or so down from the gate So you just go left at the gate and you'll see the signs and everything but uh, we're here. So it's cool from the start of it uh, I'll uh, Hop back on here when we get a little closer
uh, kayaker here. He hasn't caught anything yet since I've been here, but uh, it's pretty cool. Um, it's not as big as the upper, but it's uh, really cool. I think the upper you actually can go behind. I don't know if there's a trail, but I've heard people go behind it. And then uh, this is really cool. For Indiana, this is a, a really neat uh, place to visit. You don't get a lot of these waterfalls in this state. Indiana's pretty flat, so pretty cool. All right, so that's the last little adventure we had planned for this trip the uh, falls so I hope you guys enjoyed this video it's a little bit of a different video for my channel I, I really want to start this series where I do all the the parks in Indiana over a period of time I'm not sure how long it will take I camp anywhere from like one time a year to like five or six so I'm hoping to camp out a little bit more and um, we'll see if I can get, cover a little bit more of these parks during the year I just don't want to go to the same place every time I, I kind of get old uh, sick and tired of the same old place so this will kind of give me a reason to kind of drive a little further check out different parks Indiana has a lot of very unique places to visit and I kind of want to, to experience them myself and I would love to make a video to show other people what the parks have so hope you guys enjoy, enjoyed this video if you did give me a like give me a comment down below if you think you guys would like something like this and I'll definitely make some more if you do and I, I enjoyed our trip and I hope you guys enjoyed the video. We'll see you on the next one.